Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris Captures and we've got part two of the sci-fi haul from the Christmas January sale period. This is all the stuff that I got on sale, whereas the previous video linked up here was all the pre-owned stuff that I got. I managed to get a whole bulk of one series, so I'm super excited for that. But first guys, if you could leave a like on this video, it helps the channel out so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And most of you are not subscribed, so please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we want to make big number go bigger and it means that we can do more stuff like this. Speaking of doing more stuff like this i am affiliated with sci-fi so if you click the link in the description down below it lets them know that i sent you and also if you use code chris captures at checkout you get 10 percent off that just means that anything that you guys do to support me can go straight back into the collection into the channel it's a good way to help the cause thank you so much guys and let's get on with it okay so we got a little slicey do Ooh, smells fresh that. Okay guys, so if you've ever seen a sci-fi haul, you will know that you get an absolute boat ton of bookmarks every time you order. This is more than I think how many books are in the haul, it's crazy. So to start this haul, I've got all three volumes of a series. It's only three and done because it got cancelled really quickly in Shonen Jump, which I'm kind of sad about because what I read on the Shonen Jump app so far was really good. And that is a Yashimon. So I've got volumes one, two and three there so this is all of it like volume three says the final volume i cannot believe that this only made three volumes this is by yuji kaku who was one of the assistants to tatsuki fujimoto on chainsaw man there must have been something going on in that office because everybody came out and made bangers this is the same guy that made hell's paradise which has just been sweeping the landscape over the last year so i was so surprised when the yashimon got cancelled after only three volumes i think it basically follows this guy who becomes so strong that no human opponent is any challenge to him anymore so when he finds a spirit yokai sort of hybrid with which connects to the Mafia. He ends up becoming their bodyguard so that he can fight demons and yokai instead. It feels like kind of like Chainsaw Man meets Yu Yu Hakusho type Yakuza family sort of stuff. It's a great series from what I've read in volume one so far. So hopefully all three make a good story and it doesn't just end a bit abruptly, but I did want to support the creator. So I'm super excited to read the rest of the series. The next two volumes are also from the same series. You'll be able to see it on the shelf behind me and I am dedicated to try and finish the series. And that is Haikyuu. So I got volumes 11 and volumes 12. I honestly would have got more than this, but they didn't have 13 in stock and I don't like having big gap fillers so i just thought i would get 11 and 12 while i could and then put that money into the next series that's coming up instead so yeah i am super excited to add this to the collection and to be honest i haven't finished reading all of these yet but i've i've watched the majority of the anime so i know where the story goes anyway so i'm gonna try and get like a big bulk maybe like 20 of the volumes and then do a big binge read and then try and get the last 24 i think there's 44 volumes in total isn't there i'm surprised they haven't announced a box set yet i'll lay you a bet i'll get 20 volumes in and then they'll announce a box set and it'll just will irk me but for now we've got volumes 11 and 12 they're getting put on the shelf shabby okay so we have six more volumes to go but they are all from the same series now i'm so glad that this series is back being printed again it means that we can all get our hands on it it's one of the most legendary series of all time it's probably the most popular sports manga out there both blue lock and both haiku this is probably the most popular sports manga and that is of course slam dunk so as you can see from the shelf behind me i already have volumes one to four and now i've got five six seven eight nine and volume 10 and this may sound ridiculous i've not read a single page of slam dunk yet i have the first four volumes there but when i saw it back in stock and the prices of it and then the discount from using code chris captures at checkout i'll say it again i've also got a bunch of friends who have also got discount codes out there so if you want to go support another creator please go check out my other friends who you see me interacting with on instagram all the time so please go check out their codes yeah it may sound ridiculous that i've not read any of it but with the discount i could not say no while it was in stock i had to get it so i've got a big chunk of it up to volume 10 so i'm now gonna read it i'm gonna binge all 10 volumes i know i'm gonna love it because i'm really into sports manga i never thought like i'd be so intensely into sports manga but i am and i know this creator is one of the goats so i just i know i'm gonna love it also look at these covers they're sort of like watercolor pastel covers are crazy gorgeous like that is insane and all different art styles this is like a like 80s 90s pop art sort of style even this just stripping it back with a plain white cover oh 
it's just really satisfying. It follows a high school basketball team, if you don't know, trying to make it into the finals. There's recently been a new movie come out about it and everything, but I've stayed away from them because I wanted to consume the manga first because I just, I know it's the GOAT. I've been told it's the GOAT, so I'm just gonna do it. And now I've got 10 volumes, so I can, I can binge it all at one go. Ooh, I believe there's like 30, 32 volumes, maybe more in total. So this is like a good chunk of it. So I can read all this in one go and then it won't bother me as much that I need to wait a little bit. And then I'll probably get like another few volumes binned that. So yeah, I've got a huge, huge stack of it and it makes me so happy. So this is actually the biggest haul that I've done in a long, long time. And it was because of the sales that they had on. Check the site out because they have daily deals on all the time. Sci-fi is so, so good. I cannot explain it. And the base in the Northwest. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I assume they are. They get shipped out of Southport. So, you know, it's not that far away. If you want me to come down to your offices and see how you run the show, let me know. I'll come to the warehouse and pester you. So, yeah, I've got a full series there in the Ashaman. I'm catching up with Haikyuu and I am making a huge head start with Slam Dunk. I have just noticed. Look at the Slam Dunk though. They got, they got the different... I've got the different Shonen Jump logos, I've got two of them, I've got six and ten that I've got different logos. But, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to look at it and it, it's going to be fine, I'm just not going to look at it. <laughs> I think I'm even more aware of it after the collaboration that I did with DBO Toki where he quizzed me on the Shonen Jump logos. So, yeah, thanks for that, David. If you've read any of these series, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Do you think a Yashimon should have cancelled so early? Because I don't think it should have. I should have. Let him cook for a bit. Let him cook. He's three volumes in. That's not enough to cook. I don't know. I'll let you know when I finish all three volumes. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.